Coming in at number three is the happier Shreveport story of Depression-era murals that have been saved. Each of the four works is 16 feet tall, physically monumental, and more artistically important than ever. Since they were cast, they've adorned the entrance of the Louisiana State Exhibit Museum in Shreveport. Since 1938 and the opening of the museum, the weather has chipped, hailed, cracked, and pocked the murals of Conrad Albrizio. But now, after a decade of rummaging for funds to restore them, the Secretary of State's office said they needed some TLC. His first project was he was invited first as an architect at the Capitol and then as an artist and began working there. And from there, he did frescoes throughout uh, federal uh, buildings in, 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 the, in the state. Elise Grenier is an expert at applying patience. Originally from Baton Rouge, she lives in Italy, restoring rare masterpieces of a now rarer art form, fresco. It was really his medium, fresco. I think partly because of his architectural background. Because fresco is so ideal for the decoration of, a, of, a, of architecture, um, he, he was particularly adapted to this medium. And even in moist Louisiana, would have survived if not. Had these frescoes been indoors, they would be in perfect mint condition right now, had they not been exposed to rain sweeping in and to pollution. And uh, we have the same problem in, in Europe, of course, tabernacles outdoors in fresco. Um, those have held up for centuries, sculptures, but this century, particularly with pollution and acid rain, we're having the same problem all over the world. Many people know about the Mexican muralists that began in the 1930s to work in the United States, Rivera, Orozco, Siqueiros, but uh, Albrizio was an American. He worked all over the state and outside of it as well. Uh, black and white and all colors actually working together. Albrizio, in fact, shows people, of every, he was from New York originally, but considered himself from Louisiana because his whole career unfolded here. But he painted uh, many black people with blue eyes, every combination you can imagine, because that's what he saw. Murals at the state capitol celebrate more mystical or spiritual planes. In the past few years, new light has literally fallen upon them as restorers here adjusted the spotlights to brighten them. One Albrizio mural at the state capitol was rescued in 1998 from obscurity. It spent decades behind a paneled wall. Others surrounding Huey Long's office were chiseled out by Vulgarian Eisenhower era decorators. We've been here steadily for five months. There's an irony here because he's celebrating Louisiana industry in these murals and some of the pollution is going to decay them, isn't it? Very interesting point, yes, if it's his own end, yeah. Elise and Charles Granier finally finished their work. But don't call it a touching up. They didn't erase anything but nature's damage and our own foolish neglect of an important Louisiana artist.